Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. And I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you're feeling wonderful um, and operating in your highest frequency. Taurus, I hope my videos are helpful and they're helping you evolve and giving you the answers you need on your path. Let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants you to focus on at this time. Then we'll dive in. We're going to do that with some um, energy oracle cards here. And then we're going to go ahead and dive into the surrounding energy and clarify with the tarot all right let's get started sending you guys a multitude of love light and positive energy as always holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit guides thank you for bringing here bringing me here with taurus sun moon rising venus and north no all taurus placements thank you so much for keeping each and every one of us under your divine hand of protection giving us victory in every situation we may face in abundance and overflow um, thank you for blocking and binding all negative en energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, any monitoring spirits, familiar and unfamiliar spirits, anything trying to hinder your divine will from our lives. We only draw from the divine light of love, protection, wisdom, and guidance. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. So, Taurus, let's see. Let's get one more for Taurus. Looks like you guys are healing your inner your inner child, and we have intuition here. This card showed up earlier in one of my other readings. Um, a lot of you guys may really need some rest tours. I see you being very grounded, um, very dedicated. I see you carrying a lot of weight, a lot of weight, y'all. Um, it looks like you probably run your household. Even if there is a male and a female in the household, um, the Taurus that I'm talking to, I see that you like to make sure that things are structured. You need things ran a certain way. You like decency and order. So I see you carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders. And at work, um, you have a very important role, okay? People rely on you. So that falls into place too. So some of you guys really need to take time out for yourself and just get some much needed rest, okay? Um, that's what I have for the overall energy rest. And let's read what this card says. This is Earth Energy. Um, this card is saying slow down, connect to nature, calm your system. All right. So you have a lot going on and you could just be going, 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 going. But there's a need for you to slow down a little bit. OK, um, just to make sure everything stays balanced. All right. Because I feel like if you're not in the picture or something happens to you, Taurus, I really feel like all hell is going to break loose. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people rely on you. All right. So let's go ahead with your message. So these are the things that spirit wants you to focus on. These things, if you focus on them, could help you elevate higher, could move blockages or just bring you the energy that you're looking for okay um sky expansion all right so with this one we we have befriend your mind it says inner freedom and expand and expand consciousness all right so a lot of you Taurus spirit wants you to learn more about who you are on a spiritual level um more about your gifts and I feel like somebody saying, I do know myself on a spiritual level, but Spirit wants you to learn more about the gifts you bring to the table, the gifts you have, all right? And also befriend your mind. Um, don't ignore the thoughts that you have that are for you. Um, I see you paying close attention to everybody else and you're definitely catering to everyone else's needs, making sure that things are stable and ran smoothly around you. You definitely bring the stability. Um, but Spirit wants you to not to ignore those little things that your mind is telling you about you. All right. Um, also, when your actions and your mind, the things you think about yourself and whatever you're doing is balanced, you're very much more successful. All right, so I'm getting to tell you that to balance, um, own your thoughts, take charge of your thoughts, and pay attention to the things that are going on in your mind. This is so funny because some of these cards, well, two of these cards came out for Virgo. Um, uh, so, earth and grounding, all right? So, like I said, I see you bringing the stability here. You're very grounded and you are very connected to the divine. Um, for a lot of you Tauruses, you, I told you, you bring this stability, this magic, this healing energy, and you really have the solutions that people need. I feel like a lot of people look up to you for advice, um, guidance. They can literally watch your life and watch you move and grow. 
All right, so this is very um, commendable. It says, calm the mind, connect to your body, mindfulness and nature. So again, you're being told to slow down some Taurus. It's a lot of earth energy here, heavy earth energy. I feel like you're, you're bringing stability to yourself while you're helping other people because inner child is here. So for somebody here... I feel like something happened to make you think about childhood. Something could have triggered you or made you think about your, you, yourself, as a child. Um, this card is also talking about your divine help. You definitely are protected, okay? You definitely are protected and divinely guided. Not everybody knows this about you. Some people think you're a loner. You don't, you're not so quick to tell all your business, but you yet and still, you will still be social. But some people think you're a loner, but you're always protected. You're never alone, to be honest. So we got inner child. Play, laugh, be silly, heal child wounds. Something definitely had you thinking about your inner child. Um, and I feel like you are running away from anything that has to do with some of the things that you experienced when you were younger. Um, some of the things that you experienced when you were younger weren't pleasant. Um, somebody here encountered a bunch of people that were definitely mean, not welcoming, and very, very hurtful, all right? And it could be physically or mentally, but you still went through it. And this wasn't a good place to be in. So a lot of you guys have learned from the experiences as a child to use your intuition, to trust your inner guidance. You've learned to find inner peace. Even when you had to be a loner, you learned how to manage your energy, it's like you made your enemies watch you, all right? You made people regret not befriending you when they had the chance because of how you move, all right? So a lot of you guys are using your intuition now um, and intuitive um, intuition versus fear. This came off of Virgo earlier. And then we have connect to soul and trust self, source. So you're definitely trusting into the divine. I mean, you're trusting in the divine. A lot of you guys feel divine and you are divine, okay? You are divine feminists and divine masculines. And spirit wants you to stay connected, all right? Don't overwork yourself and make sure you make time to balance your energy. Your energy is so important. Make time to balance your energy, all right? So these are the things that spirit wants you to focus on, Taurus, that will help you grow, that will help you elevate, that will take some of the weight off your shoulders, okay? So let's see what else is here in your surrounding energy. Let's see what's going on in your current situation or what spirit wants to bring to your attention. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, show me clear messages for Taurus. What is going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What's going on in Taurus's energy? Some of you guys are avoiding attachments. You are. Wow. Healer of the ages. So spirit is telling you that you're not alone. You're definitely blessed. A lot of you guys believe in God. You have faith. Um, and even though you may not know exactly the whole story about God, I feel like some of you guys don't care. You know it's a higher power. You believe in God. You're very stable. You're very secure. Some of you guys grew up in the church, but you've elevated, all right? You've grown, okay? You're very wise. And so you know that God is in everything and not everybody is there yet, but you're realizing that and you're realizing that God has a lot of ways to speak to you. And so this is talking about your spiritual beliefs, your faith. For a lot of you guys, you're watching tarot and your family could be completely against it. You could be hiding that. This attachment, I feel like some attachment that may be around you could be unhealthy. And you're working on clearing your energy from that. Some of you guys could be holding on or have somebody holding on to you that just doesn't mean you well. All right? Some of you guys definitely, definitely need to heal and control your emotions. Somebody is healing their heart here. Um, and you're taking the mask off. It's like, I want to be real about my situation. I'm ready to move forward. Um, Hierophant, it's a number five here. So it makes me think about Hierophant energy. Um, that with the healer of the ages, I feel like you are no longer ashamed of what you believe. 
you are making people embrace you as you are. All right. Because I feel like somebody here could have been challenging you. Maybe you mask your emotions. Some things could have happened in your life that made you feel hurt. And you kind of hid that. You're not used to expressing yourself. But now you're walking in your feelings. You're dealing with it. Spirit said it's time to take the mask off. I'm here with you. I will help you heal and look at this situation. Some of you guys, you know that your stubbornness can get you in trouble. All right. So you're you're being told to balance your emotions, heal from a situation so you can move forward. All right. The healer of the ages card also talks about you connecting with your spiritual roots. All right. Um, let's read some of this real quick, Taurus. We got time to check it out. Let's read it. Let's see what healer, healer of the ages is telling you. And then we'll talk about this chakra because somebody here feels all tied up in a situation. Um, and this could be a situation that you're outgrowing. Um, so with this attachment, perceive need and the choice to let go. All right. So somebody here is acknowledging that I know that I really need to let this go. I know that this situation has taken its course. It's time for me to let this go, escape while I can, all right? I feel like it's definitely something here that you want to disconnect from. And you're, you'll are you be able to do that. God is here, popped up saying, I'm with you, all right? I'm for you. And if I be for you, it doesn't matter who's against you. You're going to overcome this too. Some of you, this situation is very sensitive, but you don't like to face it. You don't like to get in your feelings about this. Some of you are still very mad at someone for hurting you and making you feel so trapped it's like you believe in tradition right with the five here and then you got the six so i feel like the lovers and the hierophant some type of relationship or lover situation um that you feel trapped in with this all tied up card something has a hold on you or something like that let's read attachment it says in the upright position this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. The chain at your wrist is bolted to the fear from the past or desperation about the future. Although you may wear the mark, I mean the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to go forward. It says the stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Are you living in fear, addicted to the old unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? If so, the chains that bind you could be your own making. It says this card is telling you that it's time to take action. You'll need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open, free, and healthy, authentic, happy life. It says it may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Until you until you do, the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. Wow. So there's something here that you really feel deeply that you may need to let go of. And this is telling you that the energy is just going to repeat itself. Even when it looks like it may be getting better, this energy is going to repeat itself and keep you stuck. So it's a need for you to break free and ask yourself, what is it that's blocking you? Okay. And for the um, second chakra, this is you balancing your emotions and your self-confidence. Intimacy and creativity is what the second chakra is talking about. I believe this is the sacral chakra. Um, and it says that this chakra vibrates energy of beautiful angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange energy promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort while um, with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it is urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have a more creative approach. All right. So you're being called to be creative. Do new projects. Um, bring something to the forefront that you've been working on or thinking about um, that's really going to make you feel fulfilled and happy. Um, this could even be talking about you releasing old energy of the past, like a person or a job even. You could just be very tired of something or something seems redundant. All right. So you're being told to release yourself. And that's the same with this all tied up energy. This could be you tied up in self-doubt, fear, um, 
or even um, denial. All right. So something has you in this energy. Let's see what it is. Oh, let me read Healer of the Ages to you real quick, Taurus. I know y'all like, oh my goodness. But it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Let's see. Healer of the Ages. Let me see. Because I don't want to rush through your reading. I want to make sure you get everything you need to get. All right. Because somebody needs this. I know somebody needs this. All right, so let's talk about the Healer of the Ages card. It's talking about health and vitality. It says, this powerful being brings us the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of the divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental, and emotional ills, helping to unlock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. See, your help. It says, you may have felt this strong present recent presence recently, or you may just be opening up to the wonderful sensations now. You can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality, balance, or renewal. Know that the deepest level of an important healing is taking place. Yes. So what's happening for you right now, Taurus? Let's see what's going on. Whatever this is, this difficult thing that's been keeping you stuck or holding you back is being healed right now by spirit. Let's see. Show me clearly what this Taurus need to know. This is very deep. You could be tied up in a relationship. Here's a new beginning for you. Tied of fighting. All right. So somebody could be dealing with the fire sign. Let's see. We got five of swords. All right. We got the five of wands, five of swords. Queen of wands. Page of Swords, Celebration, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like Spirit is definitely here helping you out of a situation, helping you balance. If this is your relationship, your marriage, or your job, or money, whatever this is, Spirit is helping you balance your finances. Your, not even only finances, but this is stability. This is longevity. This is long-term wealth and a satisfying and healthy relationship. All right. So this is what spirit is here helping you with. Um, and it could have been some people that have been very underhanded. Somebody in a relationship with you could be treating you wrong, mistreating you, or taking advantage of the situation. This is what I see here for you, though, Taurus. And I see you overcoming this obstacle. Um, somebody is very underhanded and very, very sneaky. And they feel like they won, but they really didn't win. That's why they have this worried look on their face. Because they know it's repercussions for whatever they did. And they're about to suffer the consequences for whatever this is. They know it's coming. So whoever this is that did you wrong or may have cost you, they know it's coming. And this person is keeping an eye on you. Somebody cannot want you to start over. Somebody doesn't want you to be... It's like they won't let you be great. It's somebody here that's constantly bringing you strife, stress. Some of my male Tauruses, you feel trapped to this person. Like this person brings you so much heartache, so much... It's like so much stress that this person brings and drama. Like you're sick of it. But whoever this is, they know they have the consequences to suffer and it's coming. And part of their karma is to watch you win. You're definitely going to get a recognized victory here. Everything is going to work in your favor. Yes. When it comes to your relationship, if this is a third party that keeps trying to interfere on your relationship, you are going to get... It's like you're going to get justice over this third party. Um, and if this is just a person, this could be a relative or somebody constantly causing you problems. You're going to get victory over this person. You got the Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. So I feel like if this is a successful victory over whoever this adversary is. So, and, and you definitely have high um, help in higher places. So this is definitely going to come in and balance this energy for you. Show me what else Spirit needs to know about this. Mm -hmm. Um, I said spirit, <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me what Taurus needs to know. Show me the Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands? With the Four of Swords. Somebody, it's like they're, somebody is contemplating. 
thinking, strategizing. They're really in deep thought about whatever this fight was. You could have gotten in an argument with somebody. Show me one more. I feel like somebody definitely was causing confusion. Causing confusion for you. Illusions frustrating you in whatever this situation is. It's a it's a relationship. <clears throat> whatever this is, you're invested in it. And it's a bunch of people arguing. You feel tied to this. Because I feel like you're invested here. <clears throat> and somebody definitely is bringing you some type of confusion. It's like somebody is creating illusions for you. Trying to treat you like you're stupid or play these mind games with you when you know what they're doing. You know what they're doing. And this is them with that stupid look on their face because they know they're about to pay for whatever this is that they did. They won. They might have won one battle, but they didn't win the war. And it's far from over. Like the card said, Spirit is bringing healing to your situation and balancing out everything on your behalf. That's why you have the celebration, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Victory will be yours. Um, and this definitely could have something to do with the Gemini, a lover situation, something here. It's somebody that's trying to infiltrate. It's like somebody's trying to come in and rock your foundation. Somebody could definitely be dealing with somebody outside of the relationship. Or somebody just tries to keep trying their hand and they're keeping a close eye on you. This could even be somebody that's interested in you, Taurus. And somebody constantly keeps trying to interfere. But you will get your happiness. You'll get your Ten of Cups moment. Spirit is definitely seeing to that. So just prepare for the angels. Look, you got so much good energy around you. Um, and some of you guys could be feeling down or very bothered by a situation. But things are looking up. Things are turning around. So prepare for this energy to come in. All right. Be open to receive the healing energy and the help that you need to see you through this situation. It's on the way. I love this for you, okay? So, <laughs> no weapon formed against you will prosper. And not only that, the path to love is opening up for you. This says your divine soul partner is searching for you, and soon you both will find each other. Stay the course and have faith. Okay, Taurus, that's your message. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. And just prepare for this beautiful energy to come in and help you overcome obstacles. I feel like God is about to move mountains in your favor. All right? So, <laughs> no weapon form. Remember, whatever this person is trying to do, they're about to get stopped in their tracks. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Book at closer the number 2 mydestiny.com.